Hi guys, welcome to this video where I am about to create an art piece based on the word lush. So first off, just a big thank you to the people who responded to my community post on the YouTube channel itself. Um, I put out every month a question to you guys asking what word makes you think of the particular country. And thank you so much. We had quite a few suggestions this month, including um, coastline, fantasy, dragons, daffodils, castles, valleys, roots, antique, magic, things like that. But the one that stuck out for me was from a couple of you, from two people. Um, we've got Harini Sridhar and Keeping the Faith. They both suggested the word lush. And as I mentioned in my bullet journal setup, lush absolutely makes me think of Wales. So I decided to go with that. And immediately once I decided, just things came popping into my brain. And because I'm doing this series of a girl surrounded by something that is from that uh, prompt word, I thought it would be so cool to do a girl that's just kind of almost covered in ivy like the Tehuntibont tea rooms. But as you can see here, I thought it would be cool to put a dragon in there as well because it seems that the dragon is such a big part of the Welsh culture. So here is my sketch that I did to start with in my um, sketchbook. I did it all in green because I'm using a colorized pencil as I knew straight off the bat that I was going to use green as the secondary color in this artwork. So I thought why not sketch it all in green to start with. Um, and then I found this awesome pen at Jackson's, which is our local art shop here in Perth. Um, and it had this beautiful colored ink, uh, almost like an apple green, I'd say. And unfortunately it wasn't a water resistant ink. Uh, they were all out of the Pigma Microns in the green. So, but I really wanted a pen to work with for this particular piece. So I bought this anyway, and I was impressed. It's a pilot jet one pen and it has this apple green ink and it's water based so it means that you can use this to create a little bit of like a watercolor effect if you want to do that so what I did is I did all my outlines of anything that was ivy um, in this green and then afterwards used a little bit of water on my water brush to blend out those lines now, sometimes I over blended and I lost the detail. So just be careful if you try this, maybe try not to lose your detail if that's something you wanna keep. The other option is to just use watercolor first or you know your normal drawing stuff first and then go over the top with this pen. So I kind of did a little bit of mix of both because I did lose too much of the detail in the ivy on my first pass with the watercolor. So yes, note to self, maybe do it afterwards next time. So I bet if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you have already thought that this looks just like Daenerys Stormborn. She is the mother of dragons, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones, um, very good show. I love Daenerys and her character, and so this didn't faze me that it reminded me of her. But yes, that wasn't the intention. The intention was to go for more of like an ivy goddess, you know, sort of, and very nature-driven goddess. And hey, she happens to have a dragon baby. So the dragon baby sits on her shoulder. So that is where the idea of that came in. It was not Game of Thrones. And as you can tell, I'm trying to keep that Art Nouveau feeling to the picture itself. Um, so I'm, you know, creating lots of flowing lines, trying to really curl that ivy throughout the whole picture um, and just put as much detail in the background as I can get without, you know, overtaking the girl in the front. So I left her quite plain and obviously my shading is all just still some cross hatching. Uh, I love doing that on these and I've definitely created a series in my mind that this is now the sixth one I've done in the series. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go all out and I'm just gonna warn you, I'm going to do this right to the end of the year because I do have an idea of a project that I wanna do later on this year. So I'm going to definitely continue on this path of creating these monthly um, artworks with the Art Nouveau style. So they won't be changing, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go to the end of the year. But yeah, then there'll be something special that I can work with and I'll tell you about that when we get there. <laughs> so here I am now using my water brush, which is where it's held inside the brush itself. There's all water in there. So I'm not even really adding any water from a jar. I'm just using that 
and then a touch of I've mixed a blue and a green color together just to give it more of a sort of a deeper green in areas and then I'm just blending out that ink from the pen just to give it a touch of color and so I went a little bit too much in the hair area and then I just pulled back down around her shoulders um, so yeah I'm, in, I'm envisaging that her hair is the ivy and it grows all over her body and like you know covers all the private paths with ivy as I'm sure has been done many a time but it felt very new to me and inspired so I just went with it and then I'm just darkening up areas to get get a little bit of contrast in there between the ivies in her hair and across her body as well and then I thought I would include more dragon parts into the picture as well so in behind her face in that circle I've done some dragon scales and most of it is all just ivy leaves so really trying to keep it quite focused on the whole natural ivy dragon girl I was absolutely loving creating this piece my favorite color of all time is green so the color on my nails emerald green is yeah by far my favorite and then just having the ability to just use green on this piece was just really floating my boat so I was having a great time doing this and yeah I'm really happy with how it turned out actually so I don't know if I have a favorite in my series yet I think this might be up there it's kind of hard to go past the first one I really love my first one that I did for the Belgium inspired one which is where we can thank the Art Nouveau inspiration coming from really that's where I started this being the Art Nouveau prompt word and yeah it's really led me to such a nice um, journey nice path so yeah if you're ever stuck on ideas for yourself to work on art projects um, just try and give yourself a prompt word or go from a prompt word that's online somewhere and just to give it a crack because it really can open up your mind to trying something that you haven't normally tried before and you might be really surprised. Now I have actually been doing Art Nouveau stuff really un unawares, like I, I, I wasn't aware that I was working on Art Nouveau stuff for so long but I actually was at my grand's the other day, I was sort of looking after her for a bit and I forgot that I did a painting for her on her bedroom wall and it was from 2006 I think and it was Art Nouveau style so I'm gonna put a photo of that on the screen so you can see that this is this has been a long-term passion of mine I just love the 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 really flowy detailed kind of swishy I don't even know what to call them the the embellishments that are on Art Nouveau artwork they just are gorgeous so yeah I've been interested in those for a long time and yeah I can't believe that I haven't really developed a series that had them part of it so it's such a nice little surprise journey that I've come on since developing that first piece back in January um, so yeah sorry for my long spiel there but yeah I'm just finishing off the artwork now really happy with how it turned out um, I'm adding bits of contrast for black and white to make sure we get a good balance between it and then she is almost finished our lush ivy dragon girl <laughs> and I have put this product up on my shop if you haven't been there before feel free to check it out the link is always down in the description box it's also on Etsy if you prefer to buy things through that site and as always the voyagers on my patreon channel get to receive this one as a high-res printable download for them every month um, as they are the top tier on my patreon site so they will be receiving this and can print it up to a2 sized um, with it, the quality will be beautiful so if you really like this artwork feel free to check out my patreon tiers um, to receive it and otherwise check out the shop thank you so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this one as much as i did and let me know if you think this one is your favorite so far or do you have another favorite and then lastly before i go i will make the reveal of the country for july and i don't know if you can tell how excited i am but it's greece the winner is greece for july and it'll be in my brand new bullet journal because i am currently setting that up to get started so the next week's video should be that and then we will crack on to the grease setup for July I am super excited and I'm off to study and illustrate and I can't wait to share it with you so thank you so much for being here and I will see you next week bye bye